drop at his feet. Now he has Ortiz at one and two. Ripped into right. Back is Beltron at the wall. It is caught. A run scores as Beltron took a grand slam away. What a catch. Ortiz with the bases loaded in the second. Hit a ball and that's when Beltron got hurt. He flashes the signs with a count one and two. That's in the center. Base hit. One on, one out. With Napoli coming up. In the minor leagues, he has blossomed into a shutdown left-hander. In the Cardinal bullpen, and David Ortiz gets his first look at it. The rookie can bring it. Mid-90s. Ortiz gets under it to right with a carry. At the wall, it's gone. Seven to nothing. Red Sox lead in game one. the veteran right-hander. Now he gets the rookie left-hander. Kevin Segrist all season long. Faced 84 batters. No lefty could take him deep, but in October. Now it's David Ortiz who digs his way in. He grounded out to second his first time up. The 3-1. Follows the double. And the batter will be David Ortiz. There he goes. And a high fly ball on the left. At the wall. It's gone. Red Sox lead it 2-1. to one. a left-hander Randy Choate by starting the runners right the tying run is in scoring position first base is open or Trevor Rosenthal an inning rolls in no score Ortiz Gomes Bogarts coming up again. getting a chance to play in the field is David Ortiz typically the DH and a kick save by Lynn. Molina tries to make the play too late. And the rare infield hit for David Ortiz on a shattered bat. Leadoff man is on. Thirty home runs. He hits one into the gap in right center field. This ball's going to get down, 
and go to the wall. David Ortiz has started this fifth inning with a stand-up double. Let's go! Pleading with the guys in the bench to get going after he plugs the gap in right center. Yeah, there is no place, again, in the strike zone where you can keep him from hitting the ball hard. That's not a bad pitch from Lance Lynn. That sinker, low and away, not on the corner, but outside part. Rope to right center. First extra base hit in this ball game for the Red Sox. Ortiz is the runner. He tags. Here he comes. And safe as the ball trickles away. And this game is tied 1 1. He's two for two in this game, and he has been vocal between innings, getting everybody together almost like a huddle in football. You don't see it a lot in baseball trying to get his team pumped up. And we saw Hunter Pence do all of last year during the postseason. Need a ticket to be any deeper. And they were watching with the rest of us. Do you try to get the last six out with David Ortiz on first base? I don't think he will. Hey. Two out, nobody on. Ortiz has got another hit. He's taken care of Segris twice in this World Series. Speaking of, here's a guy who, coming into the three games here in St. Louis, the National League City, was asked, well, how many games will he start at first base? Wainwright deals and it's hit hard and fair. Pass first. He's got another hit. He's got an RBI and he's got a double as David Ortiz has put the Red Sox on top here in the first. Over a third of the hits the Red Sox have in this World Series obtained by David Ortiz a double and RBI on the first pitch we have noticed that he is swinging at a lot of first balls Wainwright right after him first at bat and hit an RBI double down the right field line and now he pulled the trigger too soon there's no one that's in a right field another another hit he's is two for two tonight ten hits in 13 at bats in this World Series. I'll tell you what, he's pretty hot. He's not missing anything either. Not missing anything and no. jumping on really whatever. We... Wainwright was ahead in the count and then lost him. But he did dump one. Here is Carpenter to his left. He cannot get the out. And Ortiz has got another hit. He is 11 for 15. To five hits in 67 at bats. Breaking ball misses, ball four. But with first base open, we're not going to watch him do anything except take a walk down to first. And with Napoli coming up next. You expect the walk. Right. That'll put runners at the corners with two out for Napoli. He'll never forget that game. You ask him in 25, 30 years. I think I'd give it to Ortiz. I mean, that would be my vote right now.